All right, we're here to talk about some, uh, I think it's something totally different. All right, minutes from January 10th. Everybody uh, else read them? Should I take minutes till she comes? Would you please? Would you please? <laughs> I, sometimes you, I just assume somebody's going to do it. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't assume. Uh, January 10th minutes. Everybody had a chance to read them? Any questions, comments? Make a motion to approve as written. All in favor? Say aye. Uh, yeah, aye. aye. Those opposed? Unanimous. All right. Has everybody had a chance to look at the 2025 annual report that Judy wrote up? That will be put into the annual town. What do they call it? The annual town report. Don't get too far ahead. 2023. I was going to say. Wait a minute. I was looking at it. Well, you wrote 2025. No, it's 23, isn't it? No, on the agenda. I'm just, oh. I'm just reading the agenda. Oh, okay. No, it's 23. All right. Well. All right. 2023 annual report. Okay. Yep. Make a motion to accept as written. All in favor say aye. Aye. Those opposed, opposed say nay. That's unanimous. CPC plan updates. I thought we were pretty much done with that, weren't we, Judy? Were we waiting for somebody? Well, Chris, I think was going to look at the rec stuff, but I don't think he did. So, um, which which part for the rec? Like, um, because we're good with the CPA application. No, no. we're talking about the plan. The plan. The yeah. Plan. So for for that, Judy, I was looking. I I thought I had sent you, um, and I didn't save it in my documents because I was like, it's in my email. I'm not worried about it. Um, I thought I sent you like a draft of some stuff that I had changed. I was looking it up now and I was thinking maybe I saw those changes. Do I? I don't remember getting it, but if you send it to me again, then we can include it. Okay, yeah, because I I wonder if I messed up. Oh, William's entering or Bill is entering. Um, Yeah, I wonder if I messed that up and I just didn't send it to you. And like I said, I distinctively remember I did not save it on my Microsoft Word because I was like, ah, we're good and just didn't do okay, it. We'll, we'll so, find the email and resend it. Yeah, yep, we'll do that. But I did get a chance to look at that and, and check those out and make some changes. So I'll just, um, yeah, I'll get that to you. Okay, that'd be good. We'd like to get this wrapped up next meeting if we could, Chris. Yep. Is this... Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just look at the the priorities that they have listed. If there's any changes, look at the whole section on the recreation and the CPC yep. plan. Yep. And some of the things don't really jive with what you guys are doing it anymore, and just want to yeah, catch you're... up with it. Hi, Donna. Hello. She's not on. Not yet. I seem to be sign signed in as my father. Usually I'm Brian. Today I'm my father. Okay. I look we'll more like it. my father than I do like Brian. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Judy's taking the minutes. We always oh, don't. Oh, I can do it, Judy. I'm fine. Well, you can pick up now. We've yeah. Okay. We've done them. We've done the minutes. We've the I minutes guess. we've accepted. The oh. report. Okay. Okay. The annual report we've accepted. We just talked quickly about the CPC plan and Chris. Yeah. I yeah, heard the end okay. of that. I um, I mean, when I'm looking at this, I mean, I I would say I I think we're good for the CPA. Like our project priorities, um, you know, we're rehabilitating the field still. Um, I got in touch with Paul, um, Bordua or Bordu. I wish I knew how to say it right, but got in, in uh in touch with him with the snowmobile, um, people. He actually wants to like help us financially with that, which I thought was, which I thought was interesting. So we're going to, um, one of those guys will be at our next meeting. We're going to talk about that. Um, but that's with the, you know, the multi-purpose trail network that we're talking about, um, fostering relationships with area, uh, rec committees. Um, that's something we're doing like through softball, um, baseball, 
when we're making um, co-op teams, um, we do it in summer ball. Um, you know, we're always doing clinics, competing against those guys. So I, you know, I, I agree with everything. The, the center school was crossed out um, as things were working on. So I thought that that was, um, that was correct. So, um, yeah, I mean, I do. I, I think it looks good. Okay. Yeah. All right. You want to, everybody's got a copy of the recent draft then? Yes. Yes. With no changes. So somebody can make a motion to accept it. So move. Second, please. I'll second. We got a motion and seconded to accept the 2024 Community Preservation Committee plan. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed say nay. It's unanimous. Thank you, guys. And we're on to funding applications. We have two of them. First one is Hurley batting cages. Um, Chris, with the help of Judy, went through and developed a revised one. Everybody had a chance to look at it. Mm -hmm. They are asking for $16,525 of a $19,000 change project. Roughly three thousand dollars is not eligible for CPA money. And you did say that you would find that money, Chris, right, for the the turf. Yep, I've gotten in touch um, with John Edwards, um, who he used to do a Cal Rip Ripken baseball league. It was, act, I think, it. I want to say it was like separate from Rec. Yes, um, it was. But um, so he said that um, that is something that would be very likely that we'd be able to work out um, mm -hmm. as a plan B. Um, will our uh, administrations between spring ball and summer ball, um, we I would anticipate that we would have the, the room in that revolving account to make that that purchase. Um, but between those two, those two ways, um, I'm I'm certain we'll we'll get our hands on some turf. Any other questions from the gallery? Nope. Okay. If there's no more questions, I just soon go ahead and vote on it. All right. Um, I uh, will entertain motions. I move accept, uh, acceptance of the <laughs> the rec commission's application as a uh, revised as of January fifteenth. I'll second. We have a motion seconded to accept the revised application from January fifteenth for the Hurley batting cages. Any discussion? All in favor, say aye. Right. Aye. Aye. Those opposed say nay. It's unanimous. Right. Thank you for all the help, Judy. I appreciate it. Oh, you're welcome. Helps have a PDF editor. <laughs> and the second application is the Yale Cemetery Tobacco Barn. Uh, that too has been revised. And 123 or thereabouts. They are looking for five thousand dollars. Um any questions, comments? You're gonna be using the actual screws and the metal plates and right angle brackets made out of metal which we thought was okay to begin with. <laughs> okay, I'll take a motion. Second. Or motion, motion to approve the <laughs> refund plan <laughs> for the $5,000 for the yellow, the yellow tobacco burns. 
Second. We got a motion and seconded for the application to repair the sills on the Yellow Cemetery Tobacco Barn for $5,000. Again, any more discussion? Bang. All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed, say nay. It's unanimous. Wow. All right. That's it for applications. There's a couple that we can talk about or we don't have to talk about. There's the one that came <laughs> in from um, Tritown Beach. He came in a month and a half late. He was hoping that we would bend our deadline to accommodate. And I explained it very clearly that why we don't bend the deadlines because of the public hearings and the time it takes to vet the, the whole process. And he seemed to understand. Um, I think they're going to ask the town capital planning committee for the money. And then they may ask for us to reimburse the town. I don't know what the plan is. Can we, we do that? I don't know. I didn't think we could, but I looked and I think they, they've changed the wording so that we, we kind in of fact, did, we did it with Hurley. Yeah, we um, kind of did that for the, the match for the was it Hurley re yeah. refurbishing? Um, yeah. So it, it used to say that you couldn't fund anything for which money had been appropriated. Now it says you can't replace operating funds. You can only enhance them. Right. So I think it would be okay. What would they... Like, but then they wouldn't fund it with oh would they do a special article and then we'd replace the yeah yeah we'll go okay. in the warrant and then I think that was yeah, well make money to do it this year I think it's a practical matter yeah um I I have um a, a procedural concern about this application um mm -hmm not a con I, I don't have an opinion about the content of it um I, I would prefer that we fund applications that have been presented by someone in Wheatley I mean I have nothing against this man in Deerfield but there is mm -hmm. presumably someone on the Waitley um on the committee who represents Waitley I don't think the Recreation Commission has looked at this application at all, have they? Well, we wouldn't be making a decision now. No, no, no. But I mean, when, when I, I, I don't, if, if in if fact they had agree, submitted, if other people yeah. agree and they have to submit it again, I, I would like a, a Waitley voice. <laughs> well, I, think we, I think we could ask for, but I, I mean, even being even a commissioner for the, fr for the frontier tennis courts for our share of it, it didn't come from, um, the principal of Frontier or the the superintendent, it came from Brian Domina, mm. who, you know, was a Waitley voice. <laughs> yeah. Also too, Donna, they would have to come to, I think, our community, the conservation, because they're working next to the marshes and the pond itself. I think we would have to look at that project too, just to write off on it as a, mm -hmm. as a you know, part of the conservation part of it. So they would have to come to our board too. And they haven't done that? No, I haven't heard anything. They'd have yeah. to do that anyway. So mm -hmm. um, for, for town funding, they'd have to do yeah. that. Yes. Yeah. I mean, my my concern is just about uh, town. You know, that the, we're we we should be allocating town money for town endorsed projects. Mm -hmm. I get you. I get you. Andrew's yeah. concern is legal, <laughs> right? Well, sort of. Yeah, that too. Well, yeah, environmental more. Yeah, but yeah. Yeah. Chris, did you? Get contacted at all about this? No, they were in touch with us. I, no. I want to like um I do believe we are um like we haven't had a decision in anything with Tri Town um since I've become the rec director. So mm -hmm. that that's some um, no one's been in touch with me about like either for our town or for another town. So that's kind of something that we've just sort of been leaving it up in the air you know just because nobody's been in touch with us about it okay so, well they're going to need to be yeah absolutely yeah i made a note about that and um yeah we'll be 
I can be more progressive and reach out to them if we would prefer, or I could wait for them to get in touch with me. Let's see where they're headed. I'm not sure where they're headed with this. So, okay. Um, and to reply to you, Donna, um, I totally understand what you're saying. As a tri town committee, this is the commissioner who I'm assuming got the okay from the rest of the committee, the rec uh, tri town beach committee, to go ahead and ask for this money. Now, I think if we had any questions or if we wanted uh, Waitley Voice to show up, that's what we're, where we would do that. But as far as submitting an application on behalf of both Waitley, South Deerfield, he's the commissioner and he's probably signing this for all three towns. Yeah, I understand that. And he's, when I was sitting on the finance committee last year, he came alone and presented the Tritown Beach uh, budget request. Oh, and no, no. I, I didn't, I didn't, okay. expre I didn't <laughs> express this <laughs> concern of mine then. Yeah. I thought about it afterwards that it was kind of, you know, when, when we heard from Rec, it was Chris, you know, we heard. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Well, that, that's, that's totally different. I, I agree with yeah. you. You should have had the Waitley person with them. That's why there's a Waitley member on the board. And what's this guy's name? Ken Cuddyback. K U D D E B A C K. First name. Uh, phone from number South, the from South Deerfield. I'm not sure who our representative is anymore on the Tri Town Beach Committee. It was Bill Skrowski for many, many years, but I'm not sure he's still doing it. And then it was Jonathan, Jonathan Edwards. Yeah, I know he's not doing it. Yeah. I mean, our application form says the, rel the <laughs> relevant town board or committee must endorse the project within 60 days of submission. So it's this isn't a secret that Rec right. has to look at it. <laughs> Absolutely. He may be coming back to us in June, but he needs to show why it has to be done in the fall time. We can't wait till next spring. Well, if he know. gets the money and from town meeting, mm -hmm. he certainly can wait till next meeting. Next right. Spring. right. There's also talk that he's going to get, assuming South Deerfield gave him money, that he's going to get their money, do half the dock. Wait till next year to get our money and do the other half of the doc. So that seems busy. very weird to me. Yeah, yeah. I was <laughs> confused about that. <laughs> it does, but I think they got some learning to do, and they'll figure it out. Yeah, mm -hmm. I suppose so. Wasn't there another application that came in that was only a day or two late? Snowmobile different club. than this one snowmobile club it, it was it was that's less, what it, it was, was i could 24 hours late. right i couldn't remember what it was i remembered it was comically just over but yeah okay yeah, yeah. We, we, we can right. get our names in the paper for that <laughs> anything else donna library steps no how it, back in June, you got a letter saying did you, that they're, did you going, go and look like at they're them? done. Is it, did you go and look it, at them? Yes. Yeah. I, I, when are they going to finish them? So for other people's benefit, I was picking up some books at the library on the weekend or late last week. And, and I was surprised at the way they looked, which is certainly not a final skim coat. <laughs> it's patchy. Does patchy yeah. do the job? Unfinished. Have they said that they're done? Well, I went back, at, you know, and I know that cement cures at different rates. You know, it's it's not bottom. It's not immediate. Mm -hmm. Um, I had a note, a nice note from. They're always nice from Bob Klinger in June, saying that they would be putting the final skim coat on in October. And I hope I've been to the library since October, <laughs> but I, I just, you know, it was a nice sunny day, the day I picked them up. And I, I, I think we need to ask if they're finished. I don't think they are. I hope, I I hope they they're My not. That's what happened is that they missed October and it got too cold to do it. That may, that would be the most, the best explanation because 
between the two different colors of cement, one's very, very white, one's not. One looks like regular cement. And it, it and then at the bottom of the first step where it meets the ground, there's a huge crack, the whole length of it. Right. They whole, haven't done it, it's not called grouting with cement, but they right. haven't done that. <laughs> right. So okay. Yeah, and I didn't even look because the other thing that they were going to do was replace the center rail. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean I, I really was running in to pick up some books and yeah. looked at it and thought about it as I was walking home. Mm -hmm. You know, Are, do you want to check with Bob Klinger? You talking to me? Yeah, or do you want me to do it? <laughs> I can. I, well, I'll give him a call. Yeah, I I think you're probably right. That would be great. If, but have they spent all their money, Judy? Do you remember? I didn't look. I don't think so. All right, I'll give him a call. And... Let, I'll let you know before you call. Okay. I'll let you know if there's money left. Yeah, please, please do. But the, the other thing, least, the last two. Excuse me? If we're done with this, the last two windows of the church are in. Yay. Okay. Yeah. Fantastic. Still don't have the hardware, but we've got all our windows back, and they look wonderful. They really do. That one I can attest to. I walked the dogs by when they were getting them in. It's fun to get to see the difference. It's nice. Yeah. All right. So we'll start working on the storm windows, but. Those are, to, those are going to be done this spring? I'm not sure when they'll be done, but I didn't want to start till we had, didn't yeah. see much point in starting till we had the windows. Back. We had something to cover, right? Yeah. So we, um, just on the other one there, Alan, are we not considering the um, APR that came in late too? We just consider that for June as well. It wasn't even an application. Yeah, that's what I was looking at. I it's know. Like, it's weird. Yeah. It was, for some reason, Brian was feeling us out to see if we'd be interested in supporting a possible application for an APR. Mm -hmm. um, and which is kind of a strange question because it's not really up to us. We can it's up to the town and how, how can anybody well, there's, i think it came in on a different process and there's a process for accepting restrictions preservation and that are donated it may be that this one is donated and a gift i i don't know but um yeah, i don't think so but the town no. actually has to accept which is different than pay for. But that usually does happen with a gift, so I don't know. Yeah, but the point I'm making, if we go ahead and approve the 5%, which chances we will, it still has to go to town meeting yeah, yeah. for them to approve it. So why? I wonder if the and landowner then, was concerned and wanted some Brian to ask if we if they want you know we're giving them their tiny little five percent chunk and maybe it was someone who I mean I don't have any idea but the only thing I could imagine was maybe it was someone who wouldn't go forward with the APR at all if they didn't think they'd get to that hundred right. percent right. compensation that was the only thing I could imagine so the maybe process is just that they want the town to indicate they think it's a good idea hmm. generally so do, no. have we ever seen a letter like this from the mass uh no. from no. mdar no. Uh, i don't know um is, doug are you there <laughs> are you there behind yeah, the yeah. We, we wanted, to, oh, no. go ahead doug well we've i've seen letters like that but i i mean in this case the the uh you know the purchase has already happened a couple i mean i think it was final two years ago or 18 months ago or something so um i don't think there's any i would be surprised if there's desperation on the part of the buyer um to try to rush some sort of you know five percent of the funding um i don't i don't i i think maybe brian i mean he i guess he's seen aprs go through yeah, well, that's what maybe, I mean. I think if the maybe, funding is there ahead of time, then the town has to vote to accept it. If you vote to fund at town meeting, it serves that principle probably. 
Yeah, I mean, maybe they're just looking for a letter saying that we typically endorse, um, you know, APR, the the 5% APR matches for people who apply. (laughs) I mean. Right, and and that's how I, I think this is MDAR that's asking for a little bit of reassurance that we will support the 5%. I wondered if they've had a, if it's a new staff member. Who's maybe, maybe just uh, sort of formalizing. Yeah. I process. did talk to Brian about it. I told him that as far as I know, all the members of the CPC value always, yeah, open space, <laughs> and uh, we've always accepted APRs, yeah, especially this little chunk. It's in between all oh, of the there. Part of, right, right. Yeah, I explained that to him too that being in a prime spot surrounded by APR land makes it more likely that we would vote in favor of the 5%. So he took that and I think he went back to the MDAR with it and we probably won't know anything now until we see an application. Do our, do the applications usually come from the Ag Commission or who, who I, I just don't remember yes. this one. Yeah. yeah, I think it would be through the Ag and Conservation because we would have to look at it too. Mm-hmm. Right. All yeah, right. Mark, Mark always sort of steps in and shepherds those through. Mm-hmm. Okay. Believe it or not, that's all I got. Oh, no, I'm not. Uh, public hearing. <laughs> I always forget about the next step. Uh, March 13th, is it? The second Wednesday? Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah. you are correct. All right, March 13th. Um, for a public hearing to uh, present these two applications that we approved of tonight. Um, can we do the public hearing at five and then a regular meeting at 510? Sounds good. <laughs> or, Maybe even 505. No, no. Sure. <laughs> we, we don't have Let's five and 10 seconds. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, how about, how about, somebody may need a minute to sneeze or something. So. <laughs> Why don't we do the five ten, five o'clock and five ten? Great. Right. Sounds Judy, good. Judy, could you make sure yeah. you we don't have post? to put a time for the regular meeting and just just we don't. No. We don't. We just, just shows up on the agenda after the public hearing. Say that again. We don't need to advertise a regular meeting? No, we have to advertise the public hearing. Yeah. And that's a legal ad. Yeah. But then we'll do our agenda. And we'll have the public hearing at five, and then it will just go on to say regular meeting, but we don't have to stipulate a time. Okay. For the regular meeting. Good. Okay. Will it be two separate links? You're breaking up. Will it be two separate Zoom links? No. No. no all one meeting. Okay. Cool. You'll be back, Donna, right? Um, yeah, unless I'm here again. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. That was well. I'll get. I'll get wha- the link. Black humor. <laughs> I'll get the link. We'll need it for I, the I, for the legal. Uh, yes, I I I will be there. <laughs> no. Are you delayed else? getting there? No, I I'm in the I had, flew yesterday. For, that's what Judy is. I, I um. Early yesterday morning, Delta finally said they would change my flights for zero instead of six hundred and eighty-one dollars, which had been their lowest offer as of Monday night. So I, we just drove Neil drove through some snow to get me to the airport. It's very nice here in <laughs> on the South Carolina coast. Oh, nice. <laughs> All right. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Happy Valentine's yeah. Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Okay. Great. Yeah. We'll see you in four weeks. Good. Thank you. Hey. Sounds good. Okay. Stay safe. Stay warm. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah. Good, good night, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye.